Hi guys, my name is Alini and I'm a full stack developer at PyCon. Today, I will give you a quick introduction to the new PyMesh integration features on PyBytes. The PyMesh integration is here to help you to deploy the PyMesh firmware and to monitor PyMesh node's health. Let's provision a device. I will provision a single device, but you can do with as many devices you want. The one that I will be provisioning is the LowPy 4. The PyMesh is created under a project, so let's take a look at how the project interface was extended with the new PyMesh features. Here, we have two previously set up projects. Let's go first with the PyMesh provisioning. Here, we can see the project overview and the device table. We can see the low Pi that is running the version 1.20 firmware. The option tab was extended with a new feature, the PyMesh. We can have one PyMesh per project. So let's create our mesh. Once clicking on the Create PyMesh button, we are going to be guided through a wizard where we are going to set up the new PyMesh in four steps. The first step is the license agreement. After the reading, if the user agrees with the terms, the user should tick the check mark and click on the next button. The second step is the device selection. All the devices eligible to be part of a mesh will be under this list. The user should select the devices and click on the next button. The third step is the PyMesh settings. All parameters are filled with default values. If you need to change it, it's still possible. Let's generate a join key and go ahead. By the way, the join key is what makes your PyMesh unique. Here, you can have some more information about the use of the join key. If you want extra information about each field, hover your mouse over the question mark and the information will appear. Let's click on Next. The last step is the summary. Here, we can check if we have all the correct information. If everything is fine, we can go ahead and save our PyMesh settings. And here is our PyMesh. On this interface, we can add and remove devices from the PyMesh. We also can go to Configuration and change PyMesh settings, if it's necessary. To deploy the PyMesh settings and the PyMesh firmware into the devices, let's click on the Deploy PyMesh button. Once we click, we have a warning message. The update takes up a minute, and then we have a confirmation message. Here, we can see what is happening on the device. So, it requested the new firmware version. It's downloading and installing. Now, we have our devices properly configured with the PyMesh settings and PyMesh firmware. All you need to do is implement your own script on the well-known main.py file. To illustrate the PyMesh behavior, let's take a look at another PyMesh 
that was previously configured. Once we have a PyMesh working, it's possible to see some PyMesh monitoring data on the interface. In the PyMesh structure, we can see the device name, the hole, and the Dolora Mac. This information will be here soon. In PyMesh monitoring, we can see the device as a node. We can see which was the last node's border router. We can see the last connection and the number of neighbors. If we click on the device and go to the signal interface, we can see the data that the node is exchanging in the mesh. Basically, this is what I have to show you today about the PyMesh integration on PyBytes. More features are coming. I, ho I hope to talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye and go invent!